Hi guys, uh, John from Peach Guitars here. Jack here as well. Excellent. Hello. Nice, nice big uh, Cali special shipment here. We've got um, yeah. a nice big shipment from Sir, from Friedman, and, and from Exotic. Exotic. Beautiful. Excellent. Um, there was about, I think it's 27 or 28 guitars from Sir. Uh, we're not going to get all of those ones out. We're just going to get all the stuff that's maple top or signature model, that kind of stuff, because yeah. a lot of them were duplicates and you know you don't need to see four different white classic S type guitars do you? So well, maybe well, can we do, just but... point out as well, how often do you see shipments of this size in the UK of guitars from California? From three different brands all at once. Yeah, and let's not, let's not forget the, uh, the Mammoth Fender Custom Shop one that we had. Yeah, yeah so Friday this is, you know, well. obviously you guys t seem to like the unboxing videos we do. As we've said before, when we did a Sir video, we don't often actually focus on these kind of brands, which are, I don't know, are they equally as popular, would you say? I mean, we... Oh yeah, no, certainly, yeah. Sir is one of our, our biggest selling high-end guitar brands. Um, ex exotic again as well, they've kind of come out of nowhere a little bit more over the last couple of years as a, as a serious high-end guitar maker. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so should, do you what... want to start brand by brand, do you think? Oh, what should we do? We go, come on Joel, give us some input. You're just standing there with a phone. No, let's just let's just, uh, let's just do whatever we want. Yeah, okay. But let's start with this one here. Oh, very nice. What have we got here? Okay, so from Sir, then we're looking at Pete Thorne signature. Let's Not talk about trans that. brown. It's vintage gold. Right. Okay. The trans brown back. Joel oh, okay. tried to. Uh, yeah, I wondered catch me about that. If they'd gone for some. It's kind trans of... brown top with a vintage gold back. Right. No. Very good. Right. So have we got a system? Box fresh as well. We need um Can some, some cutty. Cutty device here. Where's Adam's cutting device? In the top there. This is, we should get some. And if anyone's wondering Safety about the Safety in the workplace here. Yep, just, I'll let you go there. If anyone's wondering about the setting, we're actually in the photography studio. So all of the high resolution images you see on our website and for Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff is all done in here. It's the quietest room in the shop today, so that's why we're here. Soon to be the smell. I believe, yeah. Thanks. I'm not comfortable using these uh, this dagger to open up the guitar boxes. I don't know if I'm comfortable with it, but then it's you know it's your stuff, so yeah. Right, so number one, let's start this off right. Very good. Yeah. Right, we do the biz. Oh my god, it's fretless. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Fret protector. But what have you course. noticed first of all? What have you noticed? Okay, so a little bit of an update to the Pete Thorne model for this year, which you would have seen you did in, notice. in our NAM video. They've now changed up the bridge, so it's got the Wilkinson, I can't remember the exact name of these, these saddles, but basically it's like a locking system, which I think is just basically even greater tuning stability. Uh, it's something that Pete Thorne's talked about quite a lot. It's just kind of making incremental upgrades to his guitar. Obviously the original formula worked really, really well anyway. Mm. Um, and this is probably the most popular colour, was it? Yeah. Would you say the most in-demand yeah. colour, the yeah. gold? Black's nice as well. It's sold really well. But the, uh, I think it's just a really good, straight up solid rock guitar, isn't it? It's a really, really versatile guitar. Yeah. Like, like with all Sir's playability, it's always fantastic. But it have got some great switching options. I know, like when you switch it all the way up there, it's automatically coil split, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right, so, yeah. And so, I think it's got, yeah, series yeah. parallel for the bridge as well. But that bridge is the major upgrade for this year. And I do think from all accounts, I haven't played one yet, but I think it makes quite a big difference. I mean, they must do if Pete's mm. decided to change up yeah. his spec. Yeah. So yeah, Check it out. that's nice. a very nice start. Right. Very good. So I'll give so you the tremolo arm. We've got a bit of a system here, hopefully. So we put in all the sirs down there and then... We can do. Yeah, okay. Or do you want them on the stage? No, no, put them down there. Oh. At the stage, as it were. Well, yeah. Oh, it's got a Pete Thorne plectrum in there as well. Pethorn.com. Pethorn.com. Very good. Right. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Why don't you just go crazy and get a uh, Friedman guitar out? You want to do one of each? Yeah. Okay. Because we have got some of these these exotic guitars here. We've actually got some exotic models, they're called, which is yeah. the new custom version of the exotic guitars where in the past they kind of had a set set of specs that you could only choose you know what um what fret size the color yeah. but the whole thing with the exotic range is kind of you can dream it up they can pretty much build it really so 
not even anyway, sure. Here's a Friedman. I'm not even sure there's a guitar in here because it's so light. Let's hope there is. But I do hope so, yeah. Oh, there is indeed. Oh, there you go. Okay. A bit different to the last one. Very different. So I think what's cool about Friedman now, we didn't focus too much on the guitars at, at now lately, but they've got a real nice variety of stuff now, haven't they? Because mm. they've sort of pushed back and, and I think Dave Friedman is keen to, to produce some more sort of vintage inspired guitars, yeah. like his single coil T styles and stuff like that. That's nice. But then obviously at the opposite end of the scale, there's stuff like this, proper hot rod. That's like finish over finish over finish there. Mm. So you have white over green over... Over sunburst. Over sunburst. Yeah. Super cool. So here. Yeah. <laughs> like a very small drum key. No, it's a uh, magnetic uh, oh. Allen key for the old... Uh, Is it for the, the old nut? Hoogies. The old Hoogies. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a great idea. That's a good idea. Spin it back round. Well done. Pop that back up there. Oh, oh. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Ebony fingerboard on that one as well. Okay. Nice. And are they making their own pickups? They are. are they, or are they Motor City or something like no, that? No, they're Friedman, Friedman oh, design and, and manufactured pickups as well. Let's see if there's uh, says anything about it in there. No, doesn't. Maybe doesn't the, the Wambolo. Wambolino. Wambolino Joe Lee. <laughs> right, okay. On stage? Yeah, put it on stage. Let's, okay. let's rock it up there. Oh, okay. Smush that in there. Have see you it. got any comments yet? Any new exotics? Yes. Oh. Is it Steve Burrows? It's not Steve oh. Burrows. Well, should we do an exotic next? Yeah. I think we should. We do an exotic. Piece. You all good there, Luke? Yeah. You've broken my phone. Chod. <laughs> Did you show the back of that, Cali? Yes. Yeah, we've got okay. the... Uh, no. Really nice, the uh, aging on the back. Right, so what we got here... It's an XSC2, that's all it says at the moment. Okay. So they're still sticking with the, uh, the same kind of naming pattern. The guitars. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to a lot of people, I think. Um, so in case people don't know, the XSC, which is an S style, XTC, which is obviously the T style. I said it. Okay, so this is a standard, one of our custom order XSC2s. With a roasted master grade maple neck, out. ash body, lovely, really finish. light, it's really light. tone burst. Let's bring it up. This would be an ash body with this one, yeah, super light. You can get some of that figuring in the back there, very nice. So, this is just one of the kind of the standard line, as yeah, it were, then, so yeah, far. just a super, super lightly aged. You can see yeah. it's just got a little bit of lacquer cracking in there, so. I kind of, uh, it's kind of similar, I guess, to um, almost like a closet classic Fender type finish. Oh, here we want this one. I think Exotic do the light relicking very, very well. Yeah. Just a bit of check-in. Uh, well, pretty much exactly what you just yeah. said. Yeah. But, they, but they're great HSS guitars. Yeah. They really do a great job with these, uh, you know, Strat style guitars with the single coils sound great and the humbuckers actually works really well for this type of guitar. Yeah. And needless to say, of course, that this is the UK exclusive dealer for exotic guitars. Okay. If you want one, this is the place. This is the place. So these are the empties over here. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nice smattering of each. Yeah. Where so do you want to? Perhaps we'll um, bust through a couple of um, couple of sirs. Mm -hmm. so let's get a bit of um, yeah. Let's get a bit of I'm flame action going on here. Okay. Or quilt maybe. What's this? So this is a modern. The, uh, the cutty, Mr. Sabby. Which I'll let you do that. Okay, okay. I should do it. Perhaps someone can go and get Toby's decent knife. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. At least it's uh, well packaged from the factory. It was. Just 
gets a bit too much sometimes. I just want to see what's yeah. in the backs. <coughs> just an absolute unboxing masterclass here. I'm going to go and get a decent knife. Aha! Oh, Joel is. Well done, Joel. Let's say hello to my friend Stanley. Good hello, boy. Stan. To your. There we go. Okay. Why isn't it a hard case, some people may ask. Yeah, well, I think this is a custom guitar, so I'm actually wondering why it isn't in it. Oh, no, it is a modern pro. But Sir do make some of the very best gig bags yeah. in the world. So, as you can see, that guitar was very well protected from the factory anyway. That's really nice. What, modern pro. That's a great top on that. So it's, is that a Power Ferro? Power Ferro board? on these, yeah. With a roasted maple neck. Yeah. And you've got a Floyd on that one as well, on two. Two humbuckers. That's very, very nice. Yeah. So is there quite is there quite a number of these guitars? What on this the, shipment? Yeah. Uh, of the I different models. Maybe half a dozen. Split between uh, okay. moderns and standard pros. So if you've been eyeing one up, then you've got a lot of choice of finishes and stuff like that. I think they've really streamlined these lines now, the um, the modern plus and the standard plus. But you can still get quite a nice swell for colours and things, can't you? Yeah. Well, then the whole thing with this range is to be just a really great standard set of specs that you can just go and buy an off-the-shelf yeah. guitar from them and not think, oh, I really wish it had this or it had that or, or whatever else. It's just... Yeah. So it's basically like what the Classic Pro is. Yeah. This is to, to the, the modern versions. Way. Yeah. We've had a question. We've had a question. Uh, are there any T90 relics, Freeman vintage tees? There is actually. Interesting question. Just as we're coming on to those. Well, should we try and find that one next? I know I'm there's that lovely Nam Show guitar one. Are we, gonna, are we going to peak too soon now? I'm thinking it's this one. So It's a nice piece, this one. I've no idea what this is, so I'm, I'm intrigued. You've seen this guitar. So who asked for the 2P90? Let's push things forward. Sweet. <laughs> there you go. So this was an actual NAM show uh, display model from, from this year, 2020. Awesome. Very nice piece. That is a sparkle finish. I don't know if um, our Instagram viewers will be able to see as well, but... Uh, see, what, we've got some specs. So it's an older body, ebony fingerboard, sparkle red finish with heavy aging, tortoise shell pit guard, and it's got their covered uh, P90 classic pickups. Really nice neck. It's like a. Is it a bit of a V? I can't really tell. Let's have a little feel. Yeah, it's got a very, very slight. Tiny bit. And then, yeah, and then it flattens out. Yeah. As you go up there. That looks great. Yeah, cool. So yeah, something a little bit different and you know, this this kind of with, with Friedman's when, when I buy these in for stock, I'm just trying to get stuff in that's just a little bit different and not just, you know, just another exact butterscotch blonde telly or another but white look, strap look style. At the, range, yeah. the range of guitars in between. They are definitely for the more kind of, I would say, the rock type players. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. They do do some like straight traditional uh, Telecaster style guitars and stuff like that, but you know, having this... Six saddle bridge for a lot of people is nice, and the two P nineties gives you, um, you know, some different tones you would normally expect from something like this. That's the kind of guitar that I imagine a lot of people would want to spec from a custom shop. Well, I know a lot of people Fender. wanted this guitar at Nam, but we managed to, uh -huh. you know, we just did it, didn't we? Cool. We just yeah, ruined their way. I wouldn't say it's a particularly it's big. big neck. It's, um, yeah, like a sixties type sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, 60 slim taper sort of neck profile at the, up the nut end. But really and then smooth gets, as well. Yeah, it gets fairly chunky as you go up the top end. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. Why is this proving so difficult? We can edit this bit out yeah. for the people that aren't watching live. Come on. It's because you've broken your back, isn't it? Right, keep going. Do that. Right, right. Um, what More Friedmans next? or? Let's just do whatever we get to next. We'll go yeah. your side, then my side. So, okay. all serves for me, yeah. And what was in this one? 
This is a Cali of some Cali. description, Friedman Cali. I've already been to the gym today, so lifting all these boxes. Do you know what though? These are all pretty light guitars. So this is a, let's have a look, a, yeah, Cali model, ash body, maple fingerboard, vintage white finish, uh, Floyd Rose Bridge. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Pretty lightly relicked. Yeah. What aged? A little bit more on the back. Yeah. But that's really, I think that's quite tastefully yeah. done. Yeah. No, I think that's really well done. No, yeah, light relic. And there's a yeah. bit going on uh, on the fingerboard too, a bit yeah. of kind of whitening and darkening. Interesting. Very nice. Well, whatever they've done, it works. Yeah. Got that magnetic um, jobby. Nut, nut magnetic nut jobby. As well. I like that. You think you should buy it, Jack? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. So you put that in there and I'll pull yep. it out. Any more question? No. Uh, any nags in this shipment? Not on this, this shipment, no. This huh? Not on this shipment, no. Was that Peter Wolf? Nags guitars. <laughs> There should be. Right. So this is next up. We've got a Sir Standard Plus uh, in Bengal Burst. Okay. Let's pop this one open. If anyone ever thought that unboxing guitars was such a visceral process, got knives and got it. Can you give me a slice of this. What's your fingies? That's all I've got, John. That's all I've got. Yeah. Let's get yeah. Okay. Go on. Oh, Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> right. I've forgotten what the guitar was by this Standard stage. Plus. Standard Plus. Bengal. Hello. Yeah, a maple, yeah, maple underneath there. Yeah. So Hiding. Same kind of deal with the modern that we had before, but standard body shape, so it's HSS. Silent um, single coil circuit on these as well. Yes, yeah, and I think you get the, the coil split there too. Yeah. Push, it? push. Well, there's, a, there's some kind of tone pot action going on there. Have you broken it, Jack? Uh, maybe, maybe. It's more push, push, push. Yeah, that's now a, uh, oh no, it works. Push, it push. does work. Uh, yeah, really lovely guitar. Again, if, you want, if you're looking at Classic Pro, but want something posher with a nicer top. Yeah. Slightly slimmer neck as well, I think. And they've all got the um, the 510 trims. I don't mm. think there's any with Floyd's, are there? Push, push. They are, yeah. Must have changed back to that recently, so I've always been, in the old days. What have you done? I've got a funny clicky there, though. Funny clicky clicky. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. Tom? I'm gonna leave that there. Next up. Lovely, yeah. okay. I'm gonna spin a box for dinner. That's the thrill of live TV, that for you. What's for dinner? Um, pie and mash. Bang, bangers and mash, that's all I like. Right, in here. Oh, okay, I've got another um, Cali. Yeah. So, all the body, power ferro, fingerboard, metallic blue finish. So could this potentially be the companion to that white guitar we saw then? Could be. Just in the blue? No, it's got a power ferro fingerboard. Oh, okay. Oink. Oh nice. yeah! See the undercoat coming through there as well. See that's really thin paint finish on that one. Very nice. So a tiny Same kind bit of neck of, profile as well. Yeah, tiny bit of context for anyone who isn't aware. These are co-designed with um, Grover Jackson, so that's why there's a lot of that kind of early '80s 
Charvel Jackson infused DNA. Yeah. I think that they're probably doing the best job of bringing that back. Where they're just real stripped out guitars, just a volume, a Floyd, and two pickups. Job done. Yeah. Really nice, lovely colour. Oh, yep. There's a Kenneth Williams. Excuse me. Alright, on you go. I'll, put, I'll pull the next one out of here. Okay. So we'll go with another set. What have we got here? Let's check this guy out. Modern faded Transwell Blue Burst. So this is another modern pro. Just leave it. You get abused. Yo! Nothing but. Nothing good. Right. It's been very busy in the shop today as well. We we're supposed to do this a bit earlier, but I'm selling lots of nice guitars. Mm. Yeah. Here's the, uh, the tapey tape on this one. Alright, that should be good, thank you. That'll be enough on it. That's it. Okay. So, this was a, I forgot, standard? No, modern plus. Modern in Fady Transwell or Bluebird. Great top. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen that colour quite like that before. No, not really. It's more blue than I've seen. We don't often get them with the um, maple neck at you like that. Yeah. Roasted maple. Hopefully that's, that's a uh, great top. Translating. That's really good. Solid black back. I wonder if Nigel is watching. Is Spenny Wynn watching? I'm sure he's is, working. Is he doing a thumbs uh, down every I'm time sure there's a non sir And every time there's a, a non sir it's like. <laughs> right. I bet Nigel's only just got out of bed. <laughs> What's the matter? The lights had enough. Oh, the lights had enough. Okay. Adam's not watching. Yeah. Okay, have you, have you killed his light? Wow, well, just temporarily. Right. Right, let's, let's move on. Oh, now this one's gone, fantastic. Yeah. Is it because they're getting too hot? Yeah. They would, they, they would do with me and Jack behind the, uh, in front of the lights. That's true. But it doesn't matter, okay. we, have, sticking we with, have the technology. Sticking with Sir. Oh, so this one's going to be a custom. Cool, we'll okay. move into the light when we get it out. These are pieces of aren't they? Yes. Well, actually. No. 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 There's some more snippage. More snippy snip. Yeah. Some people say you should pre prepare for your videos. No, no, but, but I'd. We, we keep it real. I disagree. Yep. Still, you, still you still see it clear? Okay. So this is a hand selected top. Wow. 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 You and your wow wow thing the other day. So is that ebony, ebony board as well? Yeah, ebony fingerboard. That's amazing. Well, usually it's got a gloss, neck, gloss too. neck as well. Super, super nice. So there is a difference, you know, when you go up to there. I was just going to ask that, you know, what's... So, you know, obviously jumping from a modern plus like we just saw there, I think it's pretty plain to see actually what you get is if you want the best of the best finishes that they've got mm. to offer, different fingerboard materials and stuff like that. The blacked out yeah. hardware too. Mother of Pearl or Avalon. I don't know if I've ever seen a blacked out 510. Yeah, that's really Avalon nice. inlays, is it? Yeah, Amberlone, I think. Yeah, yeah. Amberlone. 
It's no, almost. Nah, it's lovely. It's got a tinge of the Knopfler. Knopfler. Mark Knopfler. That's him. With the blacked out headstock and stuff. Is that, is that like a fake Knopfler? A knock? A yes. Kark Knopfler. Thank you. I think that's probably my favourite so far. That's really good. It's a shame the lights didn't hold out for it, but yeah, hopefully well, that's yeah. still yeah. there. Get it under the old strip light there. Let me get it in there. still a bit visible. Of this here. Yeah, go on. It looks fine when you get it. Mm. Nice piece. Yeah. Very good. Right, that's right. enough. You gonna buy that one? Uh, no, I think someone else should have the chance. Yeah. Right. Just stuff that bag in there with it as well. <clears throat> I have no battery left on my phone at this rate. So this is a, a mammoth one. More so? We might do, yeah. So let's bust out another Pete Thorne. Okay. I wonder if Pete Thorne's still over at the moment. I know he's up in He's Bonnie been busy, Scotland hasn't he? He's been on, on tour. Monsters of Rock. No doubt using one of these. Absolutely. Right. Thingies. Yeah. Just noticed we had um, a PT-15, we had a couple come in, but I know there's uh, one spare at, at least. So for anyone looking for, for one of those lovely jubbly amplifiers. Yeah. In stock as well. Oh. I've got a question about the, the uh, ombre. Just that ombre amp. Yeah. When, when is it going to come in? When is it going to come in? Um, I think they said around about awesome through, June time. Hopefully, but... We'll have them up for pre order soon. Um, they're going to be real good sellers, I think, that one. Really good price point as well for, yeah. for what it is. So it sounded, it sounded oh, like yeah. a great amp. It's another Thorn. Ocean. That is the Ocean Turquoise. Yeah, Ocean Turquoise. Yeah, ocean turquoise. Get that one into the light there. That's cool, that oxidation on the. Uh, no, it's not oxidation, I think it's just... What's that? It's like condensation slash... I don't know. No, what it is? It's not. That's cool, though. Whatever it is. New bridge, again. Series parallel on the bridge. Completely blacked out on the back. That's pretty... pretty sleek. And there's your... And a signature on the headstock. Here it cool. is. The cool thing about Sir, uh, I think, is that a lot of their signature models is basically stuff that people would spec yeah. themselves anyway. And they don't make a big gloat about it being a signature model because the signature's just, you know, a little... And if you went and played that out live, yeah. no one would know, no. kind of, you know, what. it's just a great tool for a job. It's great. I like that a lot. You gonna buy that one? Obviously. Obviously, yes. And the gold. Good boy. Well, I hope our lovely photographer Adam is having a nice rest today. <laughs> He's going to be busy tomorrow. Uh, Standard Plus faded Transworld Blue Burst. Why don't we try and, we'll try and razz through this as quick as we I'm can. I'm just wondering if we've even made a dent in this yet. Yeah. If we didn't say we've got 26 guitars here, and this isn't even all of the shipment. So That's some big stuff. On the back? Big boy stuff. Gel. No. No, <laughs> no, no, boy. No one needs to ask. We're being <laughs> very. Another nice top. You know, being very coherent. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. All of the questions. Yeah. They were just about to ask, but we're giving you the answers. I love that. So yeah, now the standard plus. 
Maple, these all maple. have sold well for us through the different incarnations of when it was the S1, no, S3s and S4s. Yeah. yeah they've always been. I mean, and, and that Thank was you. the spec that everyone used to ask for with a with a pearl pit guard and yeah you know it predates the uh, the roasted maple necks before everyone started doing that but the older s3s and s4s were similar kind of thing yeah i think because of that um a lot of people when they think of sir this is the kind of thing they yeah. think of it's not yeah. necessarily what they've been known for in no. recent years but the modern has been such a hit for them yeah but um it's kind of um overshadowed maybe some of these guitars but they're still just as popular as ever really yeah uh, what we've got here um, so this is a, speaking of a modern yeah i think it's another modern plus but okay. i just wanted to do all the ones that had plain tops yeah actually They're slightly different aren't they nice good on there thank you You got it? Looks like you've done it. You're out of there, mate. There we go. Modern Plus, that's quite a bit darker than the other one, I think. Yeah. Beautiful, though. Yeah. Great pinstripe top. It's really well matched. Yeah. And it's a... Uh, power ferro board on that one. It's almost the same colour as the maple, isn't it? It's very hard to tell. Yeah. I, I hope I've got that right. You have, Jack. Okay. Don't you worry. Is it the dots? It That's the giveaway? Different colour dots? Mm, no, I think that the fact it's power ferro. Well, mm. yes, yes, scientifically speaking. But Bolivian rosewood. Okay. Lovely. Now, a few quids worth just in that rack. Yeah. Uh, right, so we've got, let's go from that side. Exotic? Yeah, yeah, we've been a bit, been a bit slack on the exotics. Let's cut some more of these. Well, I guess we've been saving them a little bit because as you said, this it's is special. the first time we've seen. And a lot of these, again, were NAM show specials. Yeah, the ex exotics. Come on, muscles. It's very, very Wedge. tight in there, come on. It. Whoa. So this is one of uh, our Dean who works for us. He spec this one out. So All right, cool. if you love it or you hate it, being a relic, I'm sure that's going to be the opinion. Someone's going to either love it or hate it. Check out the uh, master grade neck on it. So it's Olympic white over candy green. Pretty striking and completely kind of, we thought it was just Friedman that did the, uh, yeah. the crazy color over color stuff, but that's pretty I like it. wild job. I like it. I like what they've done to the pit guard too. Yeah. You don't often see they've them in the pit guards. They've haven't they, yeah. Cool, that's nice. Yeah. Well done, Dean. Well done, Dean. You get to keep your job for another day. Okay, you uh, just plonk another one of those out and I'll put this away. Okay. XTC from Exotic View. So, I'm wondering if this is one of the um, Exotiques then that we saw. I'm hoping it's sure. the uh, Tequila Sunrise one. Oh yeah, okay. There it is. The one. Calypso. Is that what the lolly was? The lollipop? Could be. Was it a Calypso? With the trans pink. Is that? What do you want to call that? Is that pink? Yeah, I think. It's pink, I think. Pink, I think. Okay, yeah, very nice. So this is the first of the exotic line that we've seen then. So, as John said at the start, this is like custom shop exotic now so if you want something that's completely off the wall this is where you're going to find it yeah 
So yeah, because in the past it was basically Alder or Ash body guitars, you know, no, no maple tops or anything like that on these. Great is it, weight. Is there any, any, that's really light. Is there anything funky going on wood-wise? Other than no, the I just top? think it's the, uh, the Ash body with the, with the quilt top. Yeah. Fairly standard stuff. Very nice. Comes with uh, all the best jazz licks in mm -hmm. Come on, let's do one more exotic. No, oh, that's not that. from that. Huh? People watching like that one. Oh, good. Excellent. I don't like those relic things. Come on, Jack. Gee whiz. No purchase. You might have to have a go, John. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Just leave it at that, eh? Now I reckon you you did the hard bit. Yes, I know. You just shimmed it out. Here we go. Okay, so another exotic. Yeah, XSC two, but again, different to what you may have seen. Gold hardware. Another Nam. Nice top. Special. It's a quilt maple top. Nice single ply pick guard. I actually think single ply sets that off pretty nice. Yeah, as well. it's cleaner. And then is this? Um, yeah. Here we go. Is it a different wood combo on the body? It looks uh, like I think um, it is still order. Yeah, order or an ash. Probably, I think that's order. Okay. But um, it's yeah, very light. Your fingerboard. All exotics are just super yeah, lightweight, aren't yeah. they? Very nice. Yeah. Get these up on the website as soon as we can. Okay. Let's this one. Okay. So let's do another Friedman guitar. Is this like an hour already? 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, right. Blimey. Is this another Cali? Yep. Freedom Cali. We need a nice strong coffee after this. Yeah. You can show everyone that one for a moment. Oh, okay. Jamie! Someone's getting shouted at. Fresh pot! Here we go. So, candy apple. Candy apple. Yeah. Really nice. That's a nice series of three. There might be a fourth, is there? To this sort of really simple. What have we got here? Uh, yeah, this one's in shoreline gold. So. Although that's actually over what I didn't realize there. Over but that is the, over that's finish. basically the, uh, the undercoat anyway. So, a lot of people think right. it's a color over color, but pretty much all candy reds will have that kind of undercoat under there. Okay. Lovely. I think we used all of our energy at the start of the video. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Do you want right. the last um, Cali? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just see if we were correct about that. Oh, that's awesome. Shoreline gold. You see that undercoat on there as well. It just really helps like the metallic finishes pop. Yeah. I think that's my favorite of them. Uh, yeah. Very nice. It's classy, isn't it? Don't do that again. Yeah, they're just, they're just fun. And good as well, yeah, but they're mostly fun. They're brilliant. Sounded great in that Nam video that we did anyway. I thought when uh, he was playing for all of uh, Dave's lovely new amps. Yes. I wonder if, uh, do we know when those amplifiers might be tipping up? I think up the, as well? um, the twin sister I know was due in the first, well, it's supposed to be first quarter of the year. Right. But uh, whether we actually see him then or not. XTC. Is another story. Come on, you can do it this time. Yes. There, we go. there you go. Thank you, John. I just needed a bit of encouragement. Yeah. You just didn't know how hard to push. No. 
gentle lifter. Merci. Nice. XTC then, so that matches up very nicely with that sort of uh, gold hardware XSC, I think. Yeah, Bengal. Burst finish, flame top. Very cool. Again, it's just completely unique one-off guitar if you're looking for something yeah. a little bit different. These guitars, I guess, you know, they can be made to order again, but they're the sort of thing that you're not, never really going to see two of the same things again. It's got quite a big neck on that. It's, um, no, it's not, it's, it feels a little wider, if anything, yeah. like the, the edges are a bit sort of flatter. Nice. Are you look, generally looking at significant upcharges for these? Um, it's not, I don't imagine it's, no, it's too about, drastic. It's about, depending on specs, it's yeah, of course. The, the starting, it's about three to four hundred pound more for, for just, you know, basic changes and then goes up from there, yeah. the standard. But they're not kind it's of a, see, stratospheric no. prices, are they? No. I think that one's about three, six, three, seven. Right. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not meaning to put words in your mouth. No, no, I'll just... Right, more exotics, we're, we're getting there. Let me do a bit of a... Set action as well. In a sec. Come on. So, right there. <laughs> okay, so this cool. is the one that Steve Burrows has been waiting for. So this is an XSC2 with black limber, body and neck, super high fast looking guitar, it's got an ebony fingerboard as well, it's really thin finish on that, you can see, very nice. That's cool, that's about as far away visually from the California series yeah. as, as they get, so that's nice to see. It's kind of got like a 70s Strat uh, vibe almost, I think. Yeah, with the black hard, well, uh, black parts yeah. work nicely with the, uh, with, the, with the shiny humbucker. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, right, let's see. Right, do you want to, should we do the last couple of stairs? Yeah, we need to um, find somewhere else to put these as well. We filled up this tiny room. Go on. Go. Okay, so modern, another Transwell Blue. So I think this is the same as what we've had already, but the top's slightly different. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do the front? Or should I just rip? It's, it's a bit a jarring doing different processes oh, no, for every use. Got to think on your feet, Jack. No, I can't do that. Sit down too often. I know I say lovely so a lot, but did we what, see you know, what more can you say? Well, it's it lovely. Is, isn't it? It's not yeah, hideous. last one was maple. Okay. That's Pal Faro. Pretty dark one as well. Yeah. Pal Faro can be a bit on the light side. You can convince all your friends that it's rosewood. That's it. If you have any. If you don't, you can just sit at home playing this lovely guitar. Exactly. Yeah, lovely indeed. It's got a nice kind of. Um, but it's a, I'd say this is a fairly okay. impressive haul. Would you yeah. say so, Jack? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You buying that one? Uh, maybe. I'm just going to put it outside first of all. Okay. Carlos says you've got a beautiful store. Thank you, Carlos. Very kind. We're trying our best to get the best stock out there. Continuing with this. So we're getting there now. So here we go. So this is just an XSC1, which is just one of our custom order ones. Just a regular straight up three single coiler, super lightly aged, just a bit of finish cracking on there, very lightly done mm. with a really nice maple neck as well. 
Done. Job done. White strap. S style. Oh. <coughs> S style. Oops. Oops. Other uh, S styles are available. Yep. Notably Fender. What frets are these? Uh, metal. So see it. Aren't you in charge, John? No, I am, but I have to pay other people to help with my memory. Now that you've asked. They're not stainless steel, are they? Uh, I think no. That's what I was getting at. But they are Jeskar frets. And those ones are their 6100 type jumbos. Yeah. Yeah, because they're quite sizable on exotics. I yeah. think that's what makes them so playable. I, I like those frets, the Jeskars, though, because they are a lot harder than regular nickel frets. So, yeah. You know, some people just aren't quite ready to make that jump to stainless steel frets. And I think that's a nice option. Pump it out. I think I know what this is. Do you? If I can get it out. I know there's a bit of a Jimmy inspired XSC in here somewhere. Oh, but it isn't that. I'm not sure that's what this is, but if this is what I think it is. Can you tell what it is? This is. <laughs> no pardon. We're going to yeah. get Jamie. He's our resident is role, the, isn't um... he? <laughs> in what sense? This Just is the beard. probably the best guitar in this hall for me. Is it? Why is that? Because you've got a shirt at home that matches. Yeah, I do. Or your pajajays. So it's, it's um. I can't remember if they said, is this an XSC3 now? With well, the they're two still calling it an XSC2, but I'm right. going to say it's an XSC3. Um, so I think a lot of people would have seen the, like the Black Beauty style, the custom classic or something it was called, wasn't it? Where it was a bl all black oh, that limited with the gold edition. hardware, limited yeah, edition. Gold, yeah. So I think this is kind of the turning point now. They're standardizing the two humbucker model. But and again, then, this is an exotic yeah. model, so it's, you know, in a finish that you you can't normally get from their regular offering of you know sunburst and vintage whites and all the Fender colours basically. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Nice. Great Shout neck out on to that one. Quite a wide flame on that one, on the back. Shout out to Big Andy, exotic. Loving your work, pal. Bro. Bro, Seth. Oh. Uh, right. Let's do the last set. Uh, okay. And then we're down to the final two. Okay, so it's another Mr. Peter Thorne. Oh, sorry. All right. You can do this. Do this. Jamie hasn't done my coffee yet. No, there's no... I'm not getting that smell of sweet, sweet uh, caffeine. No. Arabic pepper pepper. Is that Jamie out there? Yeah, Where's my fresh pot? Of coffee. That would be a good way to sign the video off. <laughs> you might have to have a big one. <laughs> we'll, we'll let Joel do that. Or Toby. Not that anyone... Well, you know, no. what they do outside these walls well, I, uh... is down to them. Just for the record, three into this. No. Shut up, flask. All black. With the cherry back. Yes. The original. That is awesome. Is that the original? Yeah, it was this and the... Gold. Gold, first of all, wasn't it? You're going to be very careful with this guitar because glossy black. Everything. Glossy mm. black headstock. Mm. They're just so brilliant, I think. They've just got the right balance of... And I think, is the body shape slightly different on this, on the, on the Pete Thorne? Model? Not to a normal standard. No. It feels a little more... So, so I think because I it think feels... I think the solid colour really makes the... Yeah, maybe it's something like that. Bit of an like optical that. illusion. But it's like a really nice blend then of... You feel a little bit more like you're getting some sort of Gibson elements in there as well. The way they feel. But I'm just talking. Well, yes. Uh, You'll have that sold in five minutes anyway, Jackie boy, when you're playing your red hot Hank Marvin licks on there. <laughs> Thank you. Always wanted to be called that. So last two exotics. 
Nexus C2. After you. Thanks, mate. You can yeah. do it! We've had a nice mix of really, really shiny guitars. Yeah. Some not so shinies, and then some, some real old Well, I think with these kind of things, people... I'm going to stop what I'm going to say, because I want to show this guitar. Yeah. Night Ranger. That's so cool. So, XSC2 then. I don't know why I keep thinking it's basically like a, an exotic Jim Root signature model. Yeah. Yeah. I think he would like that. And they've got two volumes on these guitars as yeah. well. So you can do that nice kind of blended in between uh, setup, which you couldn't do before. Never any board on that one as well. I think they said they've been developing new pickups as well. So these have got there's some hotter ones, aren't they? Slightly hotter than like a PAF or the uh, the raw vintage pickup that you get in the California. These these are slightly different. So it'll be interesting yeah. to hear. Oh, we need the answer. Just get the whammo. Might be in there. You got it. Okay. Yeah, that and the green, I think, are the uh, the two for me. Yeah. What do you think, Joel? Very nice. No, in general. Which is your favourite? Um, I like the peak gold. Very I good. Like the green one. Yeah. Um, like this the is a nice green. guitar. I'm, you like the blue one? Yeah. Well, this, this, I know what this one is. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> um, we need to move on because I'm sure everyone's getting very bored. But we've we've um, we've left this to. I know what's in here because I can remember what's coming from the shipment, and I kind of feel that we should have staged it a bit more and got something really flashy at the end. Well, not to dumb this down. This might still a sweet this guitar. might flash someone's face off depending on what they like. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, so. This has been turned into an exotique because of the reverse bridge pickup. Yeah. So. Uh, so can, they really do anything you want then. Well, yeah. It's obviously like a Woodstock inspired yeah. kind of deal. Do I need the headstock too? Yeah. I have asked them to do a reverse headstock. I think that would have been pretty nice. But I guess with this new range, they'll be able to do that easy peasy. Yeah. Well, I like that a lot. It's got a killer neck though. Really Back nice neck. necks. Really nice figured. And they're just mm. all good weights, but that's really oh, I've got interesting. my coffee as well. How they're gonna... Very good. Heisenberg. Very good. Heisenberg. Nice. Cool. I'm in. I'm in business. I just need to put this somewhere. Just in time to finish. Well, yeah, just in time to finish. So, hope we've um, not bored anyone too much, but you know, it's a pretty exhaustive job, and there was lots of nice things, and we thought we'd condense it all into one video rather than um, just doing three <laughs> yeah. separates. Because yeah. um, well, there's something we know everyone likes these unboxing videos. There's something for everybody there, I would think. Come on then, what is your favourite out of that lot? Uh, it's the one that's not in the room, so I can't say, but it's the Green Sparkle. The Green Exotic, Sparkle, I think. Okay. That's the winner. And mm. yourself? I'm going to go for the other one. Oh, it is in here. Oh, because I think that's just such a really oh, yeah. sweet top. Yeah. Back bad boy there. Okay. Oh, thanks. Very nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. So we could do like some jeweling. I love it. Right. Enough of that. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. See you we'll later. See you soon.